Hey guys, what's up? I have exciting news and that is I finally solved the mystery on how to root these Thai constellations. Actually, I finally figured out a way to keep them alive because if you've been following me, I've been having such a hard time getting these guys to grow, getting them to just stay alive. So the fact that they're kind of putting off roots for me is kind of exciting. And I'm also going to do a little bit of an update on all of my tissue cultures and um, let's just get into this video. Alright, so like I had mentioned, I finally figured out a way to keep these Thai constellations alive and the secret, the secret is this. You need to get a bag of fluval stratum, stratum whatever this bag right here i'll link it down below for you um but yeah this is what i've been using this is what's been working for me and i have zero root rot and you know what i was fairly confident in myself so much that i actually purchased four more thai constellations but these guys are the highly variegated thai constellations which means they're actually the platinum Thai constellations or the creme brulee depending on how they grow so yeah and they're alive they've been with me for like a week and a half now so feeling pretty good feeling pretty good right now but um before I open up these guys I'm gonna just show you this so this is probably my fourth try and I had imported this in from Thailand and um, I'm so glad I got my hands on um, that new media. So anyways, um, let me go ahead and just open this up for you. So this has been incubating in here for like two weeks now, a little over two weeks. This is how it looks. It's starting to unfurl that one leaf and Originally, I did have this Thai constellation in a little um, cup, like a little sauce container. And, oh, there we go. And I was actually reading up on some forums and they had recommended to use Leica on the bottom and use a stratum on top. That way it acts as like the water reservoir and it can just use capillary reaction to wick water up as the plant needs it. And it's been working so far. Um, I don't typically like to disturb this plant, but I'm going to do it for the sake of, uh, <laughs> of YouTube. So I'm going to just carefully pull this out so you guys can see how it's been rooting. Oh, I got some fuzzy, fuzzy roots going on right here. Can you see that? There is a fuzzy root growing and this is the most exciting thing ever. So yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked about this. Um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just really happy right now because this was a freaking struggle to uh to get this thing to just stay alive so the fact that it's starting to put off roots for me is freaking amazing so i'm just gonna carefully put this back and um open up these guys so i can show you what they look like i'm actually just gonna open up the one so that you can see um what the difference is between a regular tie constellation versus a platinum tie constellation so just give me a moment all right, so here is the Platinum Thai Constellation. I am not gonna pull this out of um, the media because it's too soon. So I'm gonna just let it do its thing. Um, the fact that it's just unfurling right now, I'm just, I'm just so happy. Like the fact that it's even alive <laughs> um, is a really big deal. But let me try to focus this so you guys can see the difference between a Platinum Thai Constellation versus a regular Thai Constellation. So right here I have the Platinum Thai Constellation and some, um, I guess like nurseries, they'll call it a creme brulee as well depending on how the splashes turn out. This one could be a Platinum or a creme brulee. It just really depends on how it grows into its... Um, variegation and this one is the original Thai constellation you can see that the the uh, the variegation and the splash on this one is a little bit more chunkier in comparison to this one right over here which is the platinum 
um both are beautiful to be honest and i actually can't wait to see how um they turn out and let me see if there's one that i can show you that i'm pretty confident that'll do okay yeah i can open up this one so here is another platinum tie constellation you can see how the um the variegation differs um i find that the platinum variegation is more it's like it's almost like there's more of it but it's evenly distributed whereas the um the regular tie constellations the splashes are there but it's like splashes if that makes any sense and like the creme brulee i think it's supposed to be very similar to the platinum but the variegation has more I feel like I'm gonna have to just get a creme brulee and show you what that looks like. But if I can find a picture, I'll put it up for you. But um, but yeah, oh, this one actually creeped out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this opportunity and show you the roots on this guy. We got some fuzzy roots going on right over here, which is super exciting. So like I said, I'm just happy that nothing died because one of the first signs of root rot is obviously the, the roots rotting, but when your leaves start to drop and turn brown, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys away and I'm gonna give you a quick update on my other tissue cultures. So I'll be right back. Actually, before I go ahead and update you guys on the other tissue cultures that are in soil, I do want to talk a little bit more about how I've been caring for these um, tissue cultures. So when I actually received the these four, like the four platinum tie constellations, I was instructed to take them immediately out of the little bag that it came in and to defast them which is how I always like clean them. I clean them and I put hydrogen peroxide to just um, sterilize them a little bit. Um, some other people use other, um, I guess, different solvents to, to clean the, um, the tissue cultures, but I, I just use hydrogen peroxide because that's what I had on hand. And I was actually instructed to give them 100% humidity for 14 days, which is why I was kind of like wary on <laughs> opening up the... Um, the cups for you but you know you too but anyways um i was instructed to give them 100 percent humidity and then slowly acclimate them after the the 14th day so like i said these guys are on their um eighth day right now so i'm gonna continue to give them 100 percent humidity now one thing that i do want to mention is that these guys actually reside in that exo tank back there on the top one so they're actually getting um direct light and underneath is the other exo tank and the lights that i'm currently using radiates a little bit of heat so these guys their bottoms are slightly warm because they are getting a little bit of heat from the bottom um, led lights so that's how these guys have been residing and so far so good i can't complain and the fact that things are happening and you know unfurling and there's no browning <laughs> i'm i'm just ecstatic so that was uh, my success story so now we're gonna get on to the other tissue cultures that are currently in soil so i did see a few comments of uh, people asking if my florida beauty started to give variegation and so you can see the answer is no um it's still green still shiny and glossy um yeah <laughs> it's a little bit disappointing but i mean it is what it is because i knew the risk that i was taking when i purchased these tissue cultures now i did lose like the baby leaves down here but it's fine i think the plant itself is finally stable and it's just going to continue to just give me bigger leaves as it continues to grow um so with that said i would highly recommend that you just spend the extra bit of money and to do your research to get yourself variegated florida beauties like these i'm quite proud of myself to be honest uh these two are still alive <laughs> so as you can see the variegation on this is very stable um i'm pretty impressed to be honest and i I think I saw one over here that kind of melted away, but that's okay because everything else looks good. They haven't started rooting for me yet. Um, 
and I'm pretty sure the reason for that is because of a couple of things one would be I do find that um, variegated plants take longer to root but two I did clip <laughs> a few of these guys and then just shoved it into soil and uh, was just hoping for the best so it's gonna take some time and you know I, I have faith so I'm just gonna put this back on um, I did start acclimating this plant already so and what I mean by that is like the the circles like the holes are fully open now and I'm just gonna let it do its thing leave it alone and hopefully it'll continue to thrive and not die it's all I want I just want it to stay alive now these guys are my billetize and they are growing and doing very well this aerial root is kind of crazy but still no variegation and um, like I said kind of the risk that you take when you um, purchase tissue cultures that didn't have much variegation to begin with and these guys let me see these guys are also my variegated billetize and still nothing yet um, I think when fall is here I'm probably going to switch out um, this shelf over here that you can't even see and actually move all the tissue culture plants to over there so they get their own source of uh, light and it's gonna get more light in hopes that it'll stimulate some variegation but I still think that um, variegated plants put out green leaves because it needs to establish itself first um, I really hope that's true because <laughs> if not I'm just gonna be stuck with uh, a bunch of typical green billet ties but it's fine it, it's the journey it's the journey not not the destination I'm just gonna keep telling myself that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video to me this was a huge success because one everything is still alive two they're actually starting to root so what more can I ask for like honestly <laughs> um, I was so heartbroken when um, they all just disintegrated before my eyes but uh, but yeah the fact that I have no drop leaves is uh, it's kind of a miracle <laughs> um, and yeah uh, my other tissue cultures although they are in soil and they are still green and they haven't really put off any variegation that's okay um, maybe it'll come later but you know like I said it's the journey not so much a destination it'd be nice if the destination was how we anticipated it to be in our heads but you know we'll, we'll get there <laughs> um, in any case I hope you guys had a great day and um, thank you so much for following me along this journey and I'll see you guys next time bye